pink, but I want it to be hot pink, and let's put black in there too. Mm-hmm. So it was a really great combination of our personalities, and um, yeah. So and it was it was just really really fun uh, that that day. And you know what? It, the day was not perfect. Mm-hmm. You know that's that's one thing that brides and grooms need to remember that sometimes the day isn't perfect, but it's some of the imperfections that make the best memories. Mm-hmm. And for us, what happened was the florist we had hired actually didn't keep the flowers in water for the uh, oh, flower wow. drive out to Banff. Oh, my. So by the time the ceremony was done, the bridesmaids' flowers were pretty much dying. Mm. And so we were out taking pictures, and they said, here, can we just throw these out? Because <laughs> they're, like, they're just totally, you know. They're all wilted. They're wilted. Yeah. It was terrible. And I, I mean, I could have been, like, the upset, irate bridezilla, but I said, you know what, yes, but take them down to the river and bring the photographer with you. So we have this stunning picture of cool. my five bridesmaids in hot pink dresses with this beautiful Rocky Mountain River and um, the mountains in the background, and they're throwing their bouquets into the river. And that was actually the picture that started our business. Wow. Um, yeah. So you know, sometimes Plan B can be better than, than Plan A ever was. Mm-hmm. Wow, that sounds exciting. I wish I was there. Yeah, right. <laughs> I would say we're going to have a big five-year anniversary, but instead we're having a baby. <laughs> nice. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm. I'm also wondering. My. I'm. I have some very special friends, and my mother and my aunt. Um, by the way, Kira, I, I apologize for mispronouncing your name at the beginning of the show. So I think I have it right now, Kira. Yes. So, um, sorry about that. That's okay. So my friends are throwing me a shower, and I would love to hear if you get involved in that process, Kira, if you have any experiences or suggestions for brides that are about to experience a shower or how that relates to the whole process of getting married. And then, Simon, if you want to share, is there a male rendition? And if not, are you pushing for that? <laughs> so uh, go for it. Cool. So when it comes to the traditional shower, I well, I think that throughout the process, you have to remember to always be the gracious bride. Because right away, as soon as someone sees an engagement ring on your finger, they're going to be like, oh, watch out, she's going to turn into a bridezilla. Even if there's like no chance that you would ever be a bridezilla, you, there's still that stigma out there, okay? So it is so important to always just be so cognizant of the things that people are doing for you surrounding your wedding. So you need to basically get a big stack of thank you cards and be writing them all the time. So when someone maybe goes out dress shopping with you, write them a thank you card just to say, hey, thanks for coming on this experience with me. I really appreciate it. Mm. Um, When it comes to your wedding shower, the people who have hosted your wedding shower and even the people who have been helping out extra, I always... Uh, suggest to my brides, and I, I did this as well, um, grab a couple of, bottle wi- of bottles of wine with those nice wine bags, have a nice card written, and take those people aside at the shower, like maybe midway through the shower, and just say, you know what, I really want to say thank you to each and every one of you and tell you how special you are to me and just how wonderful this day has been, and then give them all that gift right there and then. Hmm. Uh, you know, a lot of us are like, oh, it's a shower, I'm the only one supposed to be getting gifts. But really, <laughs> it's about these women coming together and it's not just sharing the gifts. Yes, they're sharing you with the gifts. But again, go back to that ritual that I was talking about. The the wedding shower is a big piece of that. And it's a time where women from all generations can share some stories with you. And I always encourage people who are planning showers that it's really great to go around the room and get a piece of advice from every single person in the room. And, I mean, my, my grandmother um, drove from Prince George, B.C., which is like an 8, 10-hour drive, uh, and she surprised us for my wedding shower. We had wow. no idea she was coming. I remember her walking through the front door and my sister going, oh, yeah, and that's my grandma and my aunt Sue. And then she turned around and went, Grandma Sue? <laughs> we had wow. no idea they were coming. But my sister had planned that all of the women would go around on a little piece of paper, write down a piece of advice for me. Hmm. And when they went around the room, um, my grandma, you know, got to give that piece of advice to me, and it was uh, never go to bed angry. Um, and she she was such a, a, a funny lady. She <laughs> was like, never go to bed angry, and if you do, you can change things once you're in bed. <laughs> 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 you know, she just she was just a hoot. Um, but I, you know, I still have you know that that memory of of her 
being at my wedding shower and being one of those women who who gave me advice and that's so precious whereas Mm -hmm. sometimes I find the shower gets taken over by like a you know oh well let's combine it with the stagette and go to a stripper size class you know it's fine that's the stagette but keep the shower the shower that it is a time for women to sit around and talk and and to give you advice because you you may think that you're going to use that advice right now, but you will use it in the future. Hmm. And do you usually incorporate games into, like do you have a favorite game, or do you like to keep it more about the co- the collective, the advice, the support? You know what, I think, I think it really depends on, on the bride, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I think that when it when it comes down to it, I mean, there's there's a fun game where you can go and buy um, all those like really fun little kids uh, fake rings, mm-hmm. and you can have those rings, and then uh, you know, you can play a game where if, if anyone says the word wedding, then they have to give up their ring, mm-hmm. um, you know, and, and whoever has the most rings at the end. Uh, also, a fun game uh, to play is to ask uh, the groom a bunch of questions beforehand, and then to have the bride answer them at the shower mm. to see how many she gets right. That's pretty hilarious, too. Yeah, that's fun. I just find that um, that also going around and sharing your favorite memory of the bride with the bride is really nice, too, because another thing that happens when you're going from this transition from single to married is that a lot of your friends and family don't know what the, their role in your life is going to be anymore. Hmm. And so uh, a big piece of the shower is to reconnect with the women in your life and let them know, you know what, uh, you, you're you still important to me and you're always going to be important to me. Even though my focus has been on my fiancé, my future husband, I still need you. Hmm. So it's really important to not let that connection with your girlfriends go because I'm sure every woman on this call is like, oh, yeah, I've neglected my girlfriends for a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> You know, so it's really important at the shower to reconnect with them and just to let them know how they can support you uh, going forward. And and to tell people about your wedding plans, too. People want to be excited for you. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Thanks. I'm excited, getting more and more excited for this shower okay. of mine. Oh, good. And um, Simon? Do you want to give it a go? Ma- oh, yeah. Mail shower? I don't I've know. I've written articles on this. I was actually on TV last year talking about the mighty man shower. Uh, oh, wow. It's not what it sounds like. <laughs> uh, it has nothing to do with men getting together in a shower. Okay. Um, it's basically, you know, it's, there's no reason why you can't get together with your friends, and this is completely different from the stag party. Mm-hmm. You know, your stag party will be planned. It will be a, a, a different event. Um, this, you know, I fondly dub it the mighty man shower you can have themes uh you know beers of the world um drinks of the world uh there was one um a really easy one to do is you bring in a bunch of um large roasting potatoes and you do baked potatoes and each one of your guests brings their favorite topping for a baked potato mm-hmm. and you can get really interesting with this and whoever's got the best built baked potato by the end of the day wins you know a case of beer or something <laughs> um you could do um you know a, a simpsons inspired man shower where everybody comes as and speaks as their favorite simpsons character for the evening Wow. Uh, and if you get caught out of character, then, you know, you lose your chance at winning whatever the prize is at the end of the night. Where's um, all the meaning for the men? The meaning? I think it's really just for you to, like Kira was saying, because there is a flip side to the women ignoring their friends. There's, you know, 